Good evening. A Kent chaplain says she's willing to defy Church of England rules and risk disciplinary action by offering a service to bless gay marriages. The Reverend Kez Grant, who works at St Augustine's Academy in Maidstone, says all married couples should be treated equally, whether they're gay or straight. Well, Britain's first same-sex marriages will take place at one minute past midnight tonight. But the Church of England says those unions should not be blessed in church, even though it's unreservedly committed to the pastoral care of homosexuals. Chrissy Reedy reports. At a minute past midnight, Andrew and Neil will be legally married. The Church of England doesn't welcome gay marriage, so disillusioned, this reverend says she would defy her own church's rules and bless same-sex couples after the ceremony. I want to bless the couple. They are made in the image and the love of God. If I can bless a car, if I can bless an animal, if I can bless someone's watch or their ring or you know any inanimate object, why can't I bless a loving, committed union between two people? It doesn't make any sense to me. And it's a view welcomed by this couple who will be one of the first to marry tomorrow. It should be equal for any clergy or any member of the church to actually have their own choice whether to do it or not, not have it as an overall no, you can't. The Archbishop of Canterbury has indicated the church will no longer mount a resistance to gay marriage, but some religious groups that say gay people are trying to redefine marriage. To promote and condone something that is completely contrary to God's purposes uh, it's not a loving thing to do, because the loving thing to do is to point every person, whether homosexual or heterosexual, to the saving grace and beauty and wholeness and truth that is found in Jesus Christ. The Diocese of Canterbury told us this afternoon that clergy should not provide services of blessing for same-sex couples. If they do and there's a complaint, that would lead to an investigation by the Bishop of Dover, which could result in disciplinary sanctions up to and including suspension. It's heterosexual people who have weakened the institution of marriage by having affairs on each other, by there being domestic abuse within marriage. All of that defiles the covenant of a loving marriage. Why would gay couples coming into that arena weaken it in any way at all? Reverend Kez Grant says it simply comes down to the love of two people and the church should welcome same-sex couples who want to marry without a fuss.